All right, what's happening everyone? I am bringing you some more updates. I don't like to go too long without showing you the updates and the status of the million projects I have happening right now. But I'm, I'm in the man cave here, uh, clearing out some space so I have some room to actually work and use this as a, like a garage. Um, I, the Hemiway is out of here. I put the Hemiway motor back together. I, it took me like seriously 10 minutes. I, I'm getting pretty good at that now, I guess, getting those back together. Uh, I just put some white lithium grease on the gears inside and popped it back in and screwed it shut. And here's what I used right here. This stuff, I'll link it in the description. I just bought it on Amazon. It's just like multi-purpose white lithium grease. So I'll put the link there in case you wanna you know, have that if you ever take yours apart. Now to get it back together, I ruined some of the screws coming out. So uh, to get it back together, I had to go buy new screws and I'll show you how I did that. Right here, this little thing. So this is a thread checker and uh, I, I took the screws and, and checked to see what size they were using this thing. It tells you every single metric size that you could ever possibly need. So it ended up being a, let's find the thing right here. I got these at Lowe's. It was a, an M4-0.7. This is what I put it back together with. And these are flathead Phillips, not GIS, Phillips head. So my screwdrivers will fit for sure on these. They're a little bit longer, let me show you. All right, well, there you go. So the black ones were the originals I took out and the silver is what I put in. They're just a touch longer. I got these at Lowe's. And uh, you know, there was no problem though. They went right in, the, the housing was had enough depth where they went in there and tightened up nicely. Perfect, I mean, what are the chances that worked out? Uh, so there you go, I, it's back together with those now. I didn't put them in quite as tight and I did not put a whole lot of, you know, thread locker on them. So I'll just keep periodically checking them. So sure they... the Hemiway bike is buttoned up, back together and out of here. So I got some room to work. Uh, I haven't even showed you all of this stuff yet. This is the the kit. That's kind of what I want to go over today. I want to show you the kit I bought to go on the front of the mistress bike, the Rad Rover bike that I intend on making two-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. All wheels will have a motor on them, hopefully. We'll see. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I'm going to go through that kit. Um, but in the meantime, we're clearing out space because that's another e-bike. <laughs> They're, they're piling up now. I still need to do the KBO review. That's kind of next thing on my list. I'm still doing testing videos and it's been raining here and it's hindering me doing all that. But anyway, so we have another, any guesses on that? You guys will never guess what that is. Uh, something totally, completely unique. Uh, but it is an electric bicycle, pedal electric bicycle. So take a shot, put it in the comments. What do you think that is? Uh, I'll, be, I'll be surprised if you get it, but that's going to be a super interesting one. So that's that's down the road. We've got another one of those coming, but uh, I want to take you through this kit here. This is a kit by eBike Lane, okay? Never used them before. I just went searching around for what I thought was going to work. I thought this one was going to work, so that's why I bought it. It was like $500. I mean, it was pretty expensive, but... Um, I, I really want to attempt to do this to make this Red Rover all the drive. I think that would be really cool and you guys would like to see it and I want to see it. So that's what we got. I'm going to walk you through what's inside there real quick. All right, so I'll show you what we got in here and then you guys can, you know, yell at me in the comments like you always do about where I went wrong. But <laughs> uh, here's everything that comes in the kit. I mean, this is a uh, complete kit. There's their name and logo. e Bikeling, I guess how you say it. I don't know. Uh, but this is a, a kit that's meant to take a regular bicycle and make it electric. It's got everything. Controllers, pedal assist systems, brake levers, um, the throttles, the displays, and the wheel and motor, of course, uh, torque arms. So we got a complete kit here. So this is like a, they give you a tire pump in there. And then this is your display screen. It looks like it's an S8. 30 display and then here is the box of all the goodies so we got lots of wires here's a looks like a pedal assist sensor i don't know washers for something cables and then the most important thing in here i think is probably somebody mentioned this i and i'm terrible terrible about remembering 
uh, user names and stuff, but these are the torque arms that need to go on there so you don't, the wheel doesn't fly off the front. <laughs> so I will make sure I get these on there. There's a set of, there's two in here. There's another set. So you got one for each side. There's your uh, cadence sensor magnet pieces. These are the brake levers here. We got some grips. I requested specifically a thumb throttle and I'll go over why I did that later when I do the install. And then there's your controller. The wheel looks pretty nice actually. And of course it's 26 by four fat tire. It's got some liners on there, tube liners. They don't show through at all. It's just a black wheel. But there you go. That's that's what we're gonna attempt to put on the front of the spike. I have no clue uh, what I'm doing, <laughs> really. Uh, I can't stress this enough on my channel. I'm just some guy that uh, you know messes around with e-bikes. So do not go buy this kit expecting it to work on a Rad Rover. I have no idea if it does or not. We're gonna find out together. And if it does work, I'll let you know. Um, but this, I want to show you what, at least what I bought. So you know, um, where I'm starting from, but this is this is what we're gonna try to put on there. So that's it, that's that's the kit that I bought that I'm gonna try to make my 2018 Red Rover all-wheel drive with. Um, what do you think? Is it gonna work? I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna do everything in my power to make it work. I've got a plan, I've got an idea. I'm not gonna elaborate now, but we'll, we're gonna get into this project fairly soon. And you know, this is the bike that's going on here, this one, me. Uh, move the racks i love these things man steady racks that's what those are everybody asks like how are you hanging your bikes it's called steady rack they make fat tire version ones just holds the front wheel the only problem is you can't use front fenders they get caught in the in the rack thing here i'll show you so the way it grabs the front wheel uh you know those fenders normally come down to like here so this bar right here hits it so that's the only bad thing about these these racks steady rack they mount right into the the two by fours. I have them on, you know, consecutive two by fours. That's that's fine as long as the handlebars don't line up. The bikes are are fine to be that close together. Um, but you know the you just can't use front fenders on it. That's that's the only downfall really. In the rear fenders, you got to make sure the wheel is far enough off the ground that the fender doesn't drag. This this one kind of drags a little bit on the the escape bike, um, and the the 26 inch wheels fit way better than the 20s it works but it's not in there you know as as securely but it does work and uh you know being able to just kind of pivot these out of the way but you just pivot those out of the way and there you go there's my uh 2018 rad rover that we that we mess around with all the time and do all of our upgrades and performance stuff and anything i want to experiment on goes on the mistress bike so that's we're gonna put the front wheel on this baby. I'm gonna have to switch over the the tires and everything. So I don't know quite how long this is gonna take. I'm kind of excited to do it because it's gonna be like making my own e-bike. Uh, I'm kind of making a, a double e-bike. Like I said, this kit's meant for a regular bike to convert to an e-bike, not to convert an e-bike to more of an e-bike. <laughs> so you guys are gonna be, uh, I think, a little bit surprised on how I end up doing this if it works we'll see but that is where we stand right now with everything all the stuff i just showed you i'll put the links in in the uh description so you can go get racks or lithium grease or thread checkers or or whatever or this kit this e-bike link kit um like i said i don't i haven't even attempted to install it yet so i don't know if it's going to work or not but uh, it looks to be like a complete kit and oh i forgot to mention this so battery this this kit does not come with a battery and what I intend on doing there is, you know, I upgraded this bike to a 17 and a half amp hour battery and it's 52 volt. So I've got my leftover original 48 volt rad battery that I'm going to use to power this motor. You might be thinking, okay, well, those are different voltages, but I've, I've thought of that and I have a plan. So just wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. That, that's what's happening. Uh, I don't know what else to say. I'll, I'll come back when I've got another 
hopefully informative or entertaining video to show you. I think KBO is going to be next. Look for that on Sunday if I can get all the testing done and get some decent weather to film it. So uh, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching.